हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी गोइंग टू डेमोस्ट्रेट ए केस ऑफ अगेन ए क्रुकड नोज डिफॉर्मिटी सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस दिस केस दिस इज अ नाइनटीन ईयर ओल्ड मेल मेडिकल स्टूडेंट बॉयज जस्ट बेसिकली हैव द कंप्लेंट ऑफ रिगार्डिंग द ब्रीदिंग एंड द रिगार्डिंग द एपीरियंस बोथ so if we examine the nose of this patient so look that the entire nose is deviated towards the right side na so the entire nose is deviated towards the right side and uh, the nose is just inside the nose buckled so the septum of patient give me the nasal speculum septum is fractures once we open the look the nose and the we just so look that the nose is how is deviated on the one side this is the midline so this is the midline ideally is the midline but nose deviated towards the left side so in this case my operative plan just go for the open approach and classic follow over the g 7 g step of the open approach first we open the nose after the proper infiltrations then septum modifications because the septum is the key le- step in this case and then the, we use the different the combo of the osteotomies then go for the mid vault modification and in the last the tip and the closing so we classically we follow the seven golden step of the rhinoplasty in this case i already infiltrate in this case uh, local gylocaine 2% with adrenaline once to 1 lakh uh, now this is the simple cold saline so i just demonstrate the seven step for uh, infiltrations i usually use this cold saline for um, better hydro dissections and the hemostasis so the first step of the infiltration that is infiltration in the septum for the mucopericondium deglowing so we infiltrate and the important thing the always we discuss during the infiltration rather than the blanching you have this classically the ballooning so ideally you use uh, along the line of your incision but it's your choice then you just infiltrate on the line of the incision or on the posterior part of the septum so this is the first step of the infiltration now the second step of the infiltration for the transcolumella incision just like simple we hold this tip by this index finger and the thumb and between the tip defining point to the anterior nasal spine this is the second step and the third step uh, this second step between this tip defining point and this vestibular skin so this is for goch piece dena so this is the second step of the infiltration now the third step of the infiltrations for the marginal incision so after the second step we just hold this tip between the index finger and the thumb and we just massage it for the disperse of your local infiltration now for the third step we usually use this white double prong retractor and look that how you evert this we evert this and this is my margin of the lateral crust so the multiple perforation manner multiple injection manner we use on the both sides along the caudal margin of the lateral crust
so this is my second step of the infiltration uh, third step of the infiltration now the fourth step for the dorsal degloving i identify this is my lower lateral cartilage this is my upper lateral cartilage so the junction between the upper lateral and the lower lateral we insert this needle and then you just lift up this skin so accidentally the needle is not come out through the skin and then just gradually on both sides try to avoid infiltration exact on the midline because when you infiltrate on the exact on the midline then it hide the contour irregularities this is the fourth step of the infiltration the last step the important landmark this is my infit turbinate so just lateral to the head of infit turbinate along the lateral nasal wall in this manner this is my needle so the medial canthus is the upper limit and then gradually so this is the five step of the infiltrations so this is the first golden step of your open approach structural rhinoplasty now give me the marker gila goch piece dena give me the so for ap open approach like always we discussed classically we use two incision one is the transcolumella incision and another is a marginal incision so it's my for my beginner friend then you always develop the habit of the marking for uh, transcolumella incision i usually use the inverted v incision for inverted v incision the site is important we always make this incision on the mid narrowest part of the columella so how we identify the mid narrowest part of the columella this is the uppermost part of your uh, nasal vestibule and this is the uppermost part of the columella this is the lowermost part of the columella so like you just make a inverted v and then like this and then around the 2 to 3 mm on both sides double look dena and you can feel the margin of the lateral crust this is the margin of the lateral crust by a uh, handle of the knife or a cap of a syringe this is my handle of knife and uh, this is my margin of the lateral crust so initially for beginners the marking habit is the good habit once you do the more and more cases then no problem एक गीला कोच दे ना गिमी दैट कोच थोड़ा सो आइडियली द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द टू वर्टिकल लिम दर इज द थ्री एम एम एंड द एंगल दिस वन दिस इज द सिक्सटी डिग्री सो नाउ हाउ यू मेक ए इंसिजन I usually use the transcolumella incision first and then the marginal incision the reason behind that because the rest of incision is under my vision so look that we hold this index finger and the thumb and they give the counter tractions I usually use this 11 number blade just for making the stab incision and look that how you hold your knife you make incision like this or not like this you hold this just perpendicular to this skin 
so we make this like this and like this now give me the 15 number bleed so when you hold your knife when you, you make this incision not like this because accidentally you damage this margin so this is the ideal manner and you can hold it firmly so there is no bleeding and then on this side at least 2 to 3 millimeter so cover properly later once you close your nose so now after making the incision the yes, sharp scissor you pass from this side to the another side and uh, you stay superficial to the margin of the medial crust and if you feel resistance then you go from another side never force otherwise you create the false passage So you pass from this side to the another side, ask your assistant you are in the right position or not another side because on that side is not visible. Then you complete your incision. So now we complete the incision, transcolumella incision. Sometimes you have a little bit oozing because of the columellar vessels so you can press it for some times or just you can suction, cauterize it. Hmm. Now for after making this transcolumella incision you use these two instrument one on the transcolumella flap like this and another single hook on the base of this incision and the thing that should be straight chodo, chodo, chodo. because this is the usual common bleeding by the transcolumellar vessels it's okay now the next important point First you secure your margin of the medial crust, so look that this is the seizure, sharp seizure. You hold just like a pen holding position and swap your margin. This is my right side of the margin of the medial crust. Look that, this is. And now again the curving of the seizure is faced towards the margin of the medial crust. So this is my left side of the margin of the medial crust. So now I secure my both sides of the margin of the medial crust and now I further proceed spread it and cut it little bit just like spread it and cut it little bit tissue not too much tissue yahan lagao muke yahan pe lagao yes na no, iski zarurat nahi iski zarurat nahi so the important thing that your seizure is not like this the direction is toward the antero inferior because if you go the anterior superior then you cut the margin now on this side so again 
again like spread it and cut it पकड़ के रखो यस यस सो द इंसीजन द लेटरल लिमिट ऑफ द इंसीजन एटलीस्ट यू शुड एक्सपोज टू थर्ड ऑफ योर लेटरल क्रस बिकॉज ऑलवेज योर इंसीजन दैट शुड एडुकेट नाउ आई कंप्लीट द मार्जिनल इंसीजन नाउ आफ्टर मेकिंग द मार्जिनल इंसीजन एंड द ट्रांसकोलोमेला इंसीजन नाउ वी डिक्लोजिंग द सॉफ्ट टिश्यू एनवल ऑफ द टिप फ्रॉम द लेटरल क्रस सो we use which instrument further within white double prong i use usually this white double prong retractor and how i use this white double prong retractor look that just we evert this flap and by this middle finger like this and another like this give me the seizer yes so first next important step make a plane first and then what is na after making the plane I usually this kakir periosteum elevator is a good instrument and another small wide double prong retractor like this so the counter traction is important now on this side also so this is the advantage that incision your incision should be adequate you can use this periosteum and you can use the seizure also and this important structure in the midline this is the dermocartilaginous ligament of the pitangui it's one of the minor tip support mechanism as it go as in it okay give me the section so now again further proceed my the dissection so my plane of dissection that is the supra perichondrial not sub perichondrial in this case because every book mention the sub perichondrial because they almost all have the western literature now we change the position of this nearer to and again the counter traction is important look that when your counter traction is good then you don't have the bleeding yes so this is the way you just hug if you are in the wrong plane then you have a lot of bleeding and again now you change your instrument again we change your instrument just nearer to this look that 
earlier we don't have any this net like structure but when we go nearer then we find again the good plane so this is the way i expose my mid vault if you are in the right plane then you have a very beautiful plane again i have the supra pericondial and the supra periosteal so i so the upper limit of the dissection wo dusra dena upper limit of dissection that is the intercanthal line so just i on the bony vault Exposure of the lateral crust, mid vault, and the bony vault is complete. Now I put the self-retaining dorsal retractor. This is a very good instrument. There is no need to the hold by your assistant. Leave it. So we just quickly the revise the structure. एक मिनट दिस इज एंटायरली योर टिप वॉल्ट लोअर वॉल्ट दिस इज माई मिड वॉल्ट एंड दिस इज द बोनी वॉल्ट बोथ साइड्स ऑफ द लोअर लेटरल कार्टिलीज दिस इज द लेफ्ट साइड लोअर लेटरल कार्टिलीज दिस इज द राइट साइड लोअर लेटरल कार्टिलीज एंड दिस इज द मीडियल क्रस this is the foot plate part of the medial crust this is the intermediate crust this is the dome part of the intermediate crust and where this diverging is start this is the interlobular part lobular part of the intermediate crust and this is the lateral crust so usually this lateral crust have this cephalic margin and this is the caudal margin so this caudal margin we usually follow for the marginal incision किसी को बोल दो मेरा फोन अटेंड करके जवाब दे देगा तो है ना सर्टिस्ट का किसी को बोल दो एंड दिस इज द सेफेलिक मार्जिन ऑफ द लेटरल क्रस दिस इज द स्क्रोल एरिया एंड दिस इज द मिड वॉल्ट सो द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप दैट वी एक्सपोज द सेप्टम सो हाउ यू एक्सपोज द सेप्टम a uh, little bit little bit not uh, too much little bit concave so hold it we separate the this is the intercrural ligament so we separate in this manner and what structure we try to identify look that so this is the pericondrium this is the pericondrium you can appreciate very well so we separate it and we identify the anterior septal angle area for identification of the septum and it's a very important step so this is it 
the structure this is the septum because the septum is too deviated in this case so first we identify the anterior septum just to be degloving your mucopericondium first from the one side you can use the periosteum elevator you can use this seizure as a periosteum just like a pen holding position uh 15 number blade you you should be in the right plane so the back end of your knife you can use for getting the proper plane it's a very important step rather than you go to the wrong plane so now the things are changed now i am in the right plane in rhinoplasty wherever you have the doubt then you change your step now on another side because the septum is this is the midline but the caudal part of the septum is here so again on another side and uh, it's so important uh just to my beginner friend that this is the most important step most difficult step just to find the plane of the dissection especially in a crooked nose secondary nose or uh, sometimes when you have a pediatric rhinoplasty so you keep start so we expose the one side and uh, then look that the septum there is a common problem in the crooked nose the patient septum is like fracture look that this is the fracture line so either you have the two way you can just expose on both sides straight go but the better way for my beginner friends because we need the more exposure so i first separate this mucopericondium from the superior most part of the septum so we separate this upper lateral and septum and get for getting the more exposure so i separate on the one right side and now the left side because the septum is fractured and uh, this mucopericondium is degloving so because before to separate you complete the gloving if you not complete the gloving then lot of bleed and you have the internal nasal wall insufficiency so give me the 15 number blade or 11 number blade thoda sa mukesh isko khinch ke rakho hmm yes so we separate this
सो दिस इज माई राइट साइड अपर लेटल कार्टिलेज दिस इज माई डोरसल पार्ट ऑफ द सेप्टम This is left side of the upper lateral. Yellow. Now, fifteen number. So first, I separate the one side section. Karo Rajvir. You always secure your one side of the mucopericondrium first. Yes. This is the way. Counter traction is the important always. When you are in the right plane, there is no bleeding. So look the, especially for my beginner friend, we struggle unnecessary in this tunnel. But now when we separate this upper lateral and the septum, we have the better exposure. so how beautifully we expose our septum on the one side now on another side first from the top there is a usually a sequence when you deglobing your mucopericondrium first you anterior or superior part and then you deglobing posterior inferiorly and then posterior superiorly and then anterior inferiorly because this anterior inferior is the densely the mucopericondrium mucoperiosteal attachment so this is the way we expose completely septum from the both sides now you can use the kilian's nasal speculum just for यहाँ पे रह गया ना सो एंटीरो इन्फीरियरली स्टिल द मेको पेरिकोडियम इज एडेरेंट सो आई जस्ट ट्राई टू सेपरेट दिस वन सेक्शन ओके सेक्शन पकड़ो आप यस in the primary case if you are in the right plane there is no bleeding but if you are in the wrong plane then you have lot of struggle ye lagao हाँ इसको खींच के रखो जिससे इसको यस सो ओके सो नाउ माय सेप्टम इज कंप्लीटली एक्सपोज एंड दिस इज माय डोरसल पार्ट ऑफ द सेप्टम दिस इज माई कोडल पार्ट ऑफ द सेप्टम ऐसे लगा के रहो बड़ा डबल उक ले लो आप एक बार जिससे एक्सपोज हो ना बड़ा डबल उक ले लो यस बड़ा डबल उक जो है यहाँ पे लगाओ यस 
so how beautifully you can see your septum we just this is the dorsal part of the septum this is the caudal part of the septum and the angle between this dorsal and the sep caudal part that is the anterior septal angle so this is my anterior septal angle area this is my mid septal angle and this is the caudal part and this is the posterior part so this is the posterior septal usually we have the three septal angle but for clinical point of view this anterior septal angle is important because anteriorly we have the columella so this part of the septum due to the force he fractured here this is the common finding so sometimes during the septoplasty my beginner friend they excise entirely this part and ultimately consequently the tip the patient develop the droopy tip so the second golden step of rhinoplasty is complete the exposure is complete now the third step is start the third step is the septal modification if your patient septum or patient doesn't have the cosmetic uh, the functional problem then we use just always but this patient have the complaint regarding the both so first we harvest the septal cartilage eliminate number blade then so before to the harvest we just little bit excise this excess part yes so we excess part of the dorsal septum we remove and then this excess part of the anterior septum we also remove now we create the l strut we harvest of septum so marker dena so we just preserve at least 1 cm 1.5 cm on the superiorly and around the 1.5 cm anteriorly septum so this is my line of the this is my line where make incision in the septum not acute angle in the curvy liner fashion uh, just like this yes once i complete the incision then prong of the scleans nasal speculum we pass one side and suction give me the suction now i deattach the septum from the because the septum is attached because superiorly we separate anteriorly we separate now the septum is attached inferiorly and the posteriorly so i usually use this uh, stoes sharp end of the periosteum elevator just identify the attachment with the ppe perpendicular plate of the ethmoid by a multiple and this also the important step you never give me the suction 
सेक्शन देना यू नेवर पुल फर्स्ट फर्स्ट यू सिक्योर दैट योर डी अटैचमेंट दैट इज कंप्लीट और नॉट फिफ्टीन नंबर ब्लेड ओके फिफ्टीन नंबर ब्लेड सो आई एम जस्ट सिक्योर द डी अटैचमेंट ऑफ दिस सेप्टम फ्रॉम पोस्टीरियर ये लो सेक्शन just try to harvest the as much as big piece never try to pull in the small piece because these whole piece are needed for reconstruction of the nose कार्टिलेज होल्डिंग फॉर सर स्टिल so look that i remove my septum this is my septum so this is the superior part this is the anterior part this is the part that attach with the pp so you try to harvest as much as big piece now i just check the rest of the septum again from the rest of the septum also you try to harvest the big piece as much as possible give me the periosteum elevator ऐसे पकड़ो इसको भी ऐसे पकड़ो यस सो लुक दैट द सेप्टम द सेप्टम इज सो डेविएटेड ट्विस्टेड दिस इज माय डोरसम पार्ट दिस इज माय इंटीरियर कोडल पार्ट एंड दिस इज द सेप्टम so how badly the septum is twisted so you just the try to harvest the as much as possible the big piece of the septum seizure so this is the part hello pakda
now i check the bony part of the septum also so the still the patient have is septal spur give me the uh, periosteum elevator It's a important questions by some junior that what we do the septum either bony septum so if your bony septum is completely deviated have the septal spur then you remove look that this is the entire deviated part this is spur this is pp saaf karna hai isko so septum is the key step in the rhinoplasty especially in a case of a crooked nose So this is the PP, and this is the crest of the omerine. So look that. So you can use this in the reconstruction of the septum. Sometimes your cartilaginous part is deficient, just as a splinting purpose. just i check more deviated septum periosteum elevator एक बार देखो इसको रिमूव करो जस्ट आई चेक आई लिटिल बिट दिस वन सो द मैक्सिलरी क्रेस्ट एरिया एंड नाउ आई डील इन द लास्ट एंड गूज एंड हैमर डियर गूज एंड हैमर दो राजवीर लो सो दिस इज द maxillary crest area yes 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 so this is my maxillary crest area maxillary crest now again check now i have the good airway on the both sides give me the suction सवर देना गुजर डैमेज जस्ट थोड़ा सा यस आ उसमें
give me the pack Hello. Now the both side of the nasal cavity is opened properly. I just put a pack on both sides. Earlier we couldn't negotiate a simple telescope on the right side now but now we have the very good both sides mucopericondium they are good. एक और देना पैक सेप्टम को फिक्स करना है नाउ द इंपोर्टेंट दैट वी कंप्लीट करेक्ट द सेप्टम डेविएटेड पार्ट वी एक्साइज harvest the septal cartilage create the l strut dorsal part of the l strut and the caudal part of the l strut so or third g step is complete just we fix this caudal part of the septum just for the reconstruction purpose only in the center with the anterior nasal spine so this is the way by which you can fix it this is the i think the axis part this is the axis part so we remove this axis part yes yes so first you ident expose properly like this and then you identify your anterior nasal spine yesterday when uh, i am doing the rhinoplasty then that patient the anterior nasal spine is too much deviated from the midline so i fractured and then midline and then i fix my septum in the central in this patient the anterior nasal spine is obviously in the midline now i fix how i fix this is the way so i usually use this four opds for the fixation this is the easy way to fixation some people use a bur hole by lindremann just to make a hole in the anterior nasal spine but for my beginner friend this is too difficult but it's a matter of experience this is the easy way to fix again you pass from your mucoperiosteum we pass one more so this is the simple way to fix this and caudal part of the septum with anti nasal spine so there are certain way by which you can make is simplifying the rhinoplasty because the rhinoplasty is itself a one of most complicated surgery in all of the facial plastic surgery I usually use two double knot 
and for OPDS for fixation any graft or any structure cut it so now look that you can appreciate so firmly so this is my septum axis part I remove caudal this is the caudal strip this is dorsal strip छोड़ दो पैक लोकल तो ऑलरेडी लगाया हुआ है गोच पीस देना नाउ द नेक्स्ट इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेप फोर्थ स्टेप दैट इज बोनी वॉल्ट मॉडिफिकेशन बिकॉज इन दिस केस द सेप्टम एंड द बोनी वॉल्ट basically have the deformity and the pathology basically in the bony vault and the septum septum be correct now for the osteotomy in such type of the case we use a combo of osteotome if your patient and one side have the concave or convex extreme concave or convex then you use the intermediate osteotomy also but I think in this patient there is no need to the intermediate osteotomy we use the medial and lateral osteotomy because look that the this is the my midline and the nose is axis like right side yeah just a little bit rasp or patient have little bit bump on the key area so little bit we just rasp La? so before to the rasp you expose this and just as a pakro fifteen number blade oh mm. Tooth forceps So I just make by back hand of my 15 number blade Just I make incision on the periosteum Just to separate the mucoperiosteal attachment So we just rest or bump. I already separate the periosteum from the dorsum because when you rest, then you always separate the periosteum because before to the separate the periosteum, if you rest on periosteum, then you have the lot of edema and unnecessary callus formation. So after the rest you continue you judge it you rest only on the bony part and if you put a pressure on the mid wall then the upper lateral is avals so it's the important thing saline wash so after the rasping you give the wash saline wash so 
it's okay. Now, so first you do the medial osteotomy and then the lateral osteotomy. So, for the medial osteotomy, I usually use in the transvestibular manner. So in the transvestibular manner, when you insert this medial osteotome, then you just bypass your, this is my keystone area, this is my keystone area. So just I bypass this one. Pell either cutting you. Are else? Again, look that this is my upper lateral, this is the keystone area. So this in this way you can hmm, just yes 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 stop 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 so I, I, I show you where exactly my osteo this is my medial osteo and this is my K area so if rather than sometimes if I do I directly from this then sometimes the septum is fall down so this is the way by which you can preserve the keystone area yeah yes yes and yes yes it's okay so i separate my nasal bone and the attachment of the bony septum Now on another side also, yes, 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 okay. Now my both sides of the medial osteotomy is finished, exact, this is paramedian osteotomy. Now for the lateral osteotomy, I usually use the internal and lateral osteotomy. So first we make the incision. You always, for the osteotomy to remember that you identify your important landmark and then where you make exact engage your osteotome so this is my infeed turbinate this is my infeed turbinate huh? this is my infeed turbinate and when you put this small nasal speculum that automatically you have a groove look that look Rajveer this is the groove yes. so this groove is the ideal site just to make a incision by 15 number blade so like this we make 3 mm just for engagement of your osteotome on this side also again you identify this is in it and this is the groove okay So you make a incision horizontal. Now, here I go. 
the both osteotome this is the medicon curved 3 mm osteotome that have the two end one is the guarding end this is the cutting end right side or left side both so this is the right side so this cutting end this cutting end and this guarding end that is outside cutting end inside so i just insert it engage it first you secure look la yes 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 tap tap okay stop so once you just come just parallel then you change your direction of your hand so now tap 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 yes tap 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 maro tap 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 more more i need more 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 or little bit more more tap 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 more 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 so i just reach almost at the level of the medial canthus this is my upper end of the osteotom so once i reach at the level of the medial canthus just i go the superior medial direction earlier i have like this but now i just go like this manner so i just met with the medial osteotomy so little bit more yes 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 okay now i rotate it clockwise on this side now i free my nasal bone from the attachment of this look that my 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 nasal bone is go medially yes yes fractured now is mobilize according to my convenience i free from the rest of the attachment now on the left side so for left side this different type of the osteotome that have guarding end on the outside again i engage it yes tap 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 stop so now tap 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 more 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 tap 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 so okay so now i rotate it anti clockwise so both sides the nasal bone that is completely free from the rest of the attachment hello chalo
section. So I just stand behind the patient and check about the straightening. Because sometimes the patient need the transverse osteotomy also. I think the nose is straight. We just manipulate it because now it's the narrowing, but because the nasal bone is free, so that you ma manipulate according to your need, because the nasal bone is now free. But the things are, the, is there need of that osteotomy is I think so the complete this bony vault is straight now there is no need to the transverse osteotomy but sometimes the root of the nose is deviated then you need जरूरत नहीं लग रही इसमें हम्म नहीं इतना सा तो फील होता है कोई खास बात नहीं After the both sides of the osteotomy, you just put this sponge, cold sponge, just for better hemostasis. So, this is my septal cartilage. Or, what is your pass? What we have the other piece? What we have the other piece? This right. And rest is the bone, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay, then no need to the bone. So these are the pieces of the septum. So I just this is my two pace for this my the spreader graft and the rest for my anterior septum reconstruction.
ठीक है ये संभाल के रखना लाओ इसको उठाओ सो बेसिकली इन ए क्रूकट नोज कीज सेप्टम रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एंड कॉम्बो ऑफ द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ द ऑस्टियोटोमी अकॉर्डिंग टू द नीड यू यूज पार्टिकुलरली वेन इन ए क्रूकट नोज देन इफ योर वन साइड इज कॉन्कैव एंड अनदर इज द कॉन्वैक्स देन यू यूज द कॉन्वैक्स साइड लेटर एंड कॉन्कैव साइड फर्स्ट ऑस्टियोटोमी and if you need then your patient need a intermediate osteotomy then definitely you go for the intermediate osteotomy first and then you just go for the lower osteotomy because once your nasal bone is destabilized then it's very difficult to do the rest of the osteotomy वो एक छोटा पीस मैंने दिया था ना राजवीर अभी फिफ्टीन नंबर ब्लेड रुको रुको I remove this small because now first we suture properly this part. <coughs> so look that the things are changed when I remove the small parts from this. then properly they approximate first we correct the septum fractured septum कुछ है देना ये पतला फोर जीरो
చూడు కటిట్ so i sutured the fracture segment just end to end fashion you can use the splint also but definitely we use the splint after the spread scissor so in this patient we use the both side spreader graft but <coughs> sometimes if you have not available the spreader cartilage uh, cartilage for the spreader graft then uh, in such case if you not use that it's okay also your septum is grossly deviated or so then it's mandatory but we have the enough cartilage so this is the way then how can you fix it first on one side and then on another side ye dusri wali hai ha सीजर यस नाउ अनादर साइड ऑन लाइक दिस एंड देन यू गिव मी नीडिल so first we fix the one structure because the most important thing just a fixation you pass from one side to the another side and then in this little bit tricky not exact niche rakho yes so one hmm the big ya tha band kar dena ek baar theek hai on kar do jo bata dena mere ko so first we fix this suture so ideally the length of the spreader graft that is the around the 30 mm long and the width is the 2 mm and one end upper end of the spreader graft that should be underneath the nasal bone and the lower end that is at the level of this anterior nasal spine and uh, you use according to the indication spreader graft always so now i first fix this three structure i pass from the one side to the another side for my beginner friend this is the good way to fix the spreader graft 
because if you fix the old fiber structure then little bit tricky so basically it's a type of horizontal mattress suture and when you put at the note then you fix note like this that should be on the, along the long axis of usually we use the three nodes so definitely we have some indication of the spreader graft like when you have a deviated dorsal part of the septum when you have some open roof deformity when you have a uh, inverted V deformity or sometimes for getting good dorsal aesthetic line or sometimes when you have a existing internal nasal wall insufficiency Spreader flap is another form of the spreader graft. It sometimes, after axis and a big bump, you have the axis part of upper lateral cartilage, <coughs> and you want to the narrowing of the mid vault, and uh, you don't have the too much piece of the septum. Then you can use fold the this upper lateral inside as a spreader graft. That we call the spreader flap. So now it's okay. Cut it. It's okay. Now one suture. इसको थोड़ा खींच के रखो उसके पीछे पुल करके yes. ब्लेड देना आई जस्ट चेक इसको यू रखो यू जस्ट कीप लाइक दिस I just excite a little bit axis part.
so now I fix the all five structure from one side to the another side one side the upper lateral cartilage then the spreader then the septum then the spreader and again the on the same manner So it's the important thing for my beginner friend then whenever we separate the upper letter and the septum it's not necessary then you use always the spreader graph because the all standard like only in Daniel book mentioned then whenever you separate the upper letter and the septum then you use the spreader because the Indian scenario we have very good mid vault so it's okay 15 number blade Yes, yes, we correct it this little bit. These are the minor things that affect the results in rhinoplasty. It's okay. वो मेरे को दो बड़ा वाला गेम इधर बिग पीस ऑफ द सेप्टम यस सीजर 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 नहीं शार्प सीजर जिसको सेपरेट करना है एक टूथ फोर सब छोड़ दो Just I have checked inside. Check it. To the four side, you know. Who nikalo? Give me the 15 number plate. It's a little bit thick, so give me the
Yes. So you have a thick piece of the septum then it block the airway. So I just trim it little bit. Tooth forceps. Suction. Is there any cotton mm, piece inside? No. Pasta needle. Just few minutes. Yes. So you pass the needle. This could be the chromocase. So this is a basically L sept septal extension graft. So this have the both action just act as this part of my L that just as a splint of the fracture segment and uh, good support. So especially for my beginner friend when whenever you use do such type of the graft if you put your graft is just like this then your nose is over rotate. So if you put like this then this the graft is the under rotation. So that the graft that should be straight this is the important thing otherwise sometimes we have the unwanted side effects give man one more needle small needle if you have if you don't have then you give me the suture suture de do rajvi so we pass from this side isko laga ke do so this is the horizontal mattress suture. Sir, three to three, one time. And then pass from this side to this side. Yes. Yes. Is the better you put your note from your side, so such type of the problem you face. Either the better way, the note from your side. Cut it.
you throw out put the saline on all this structure loose so these are the horizontal mattress suture for zero pds naya wala do Now we fix it properly with the native septum. Some of my beginner friend they have a question in your mind. Then can we use the columellastern in this case? So dear friends then definitely we can use the columella stud but in my personal experience then in thick skin patients later the stud is weak so for the good septum reconstruction basically we need the septal extension graft that have a versatile structural graft ये देना हेलो सुचर हम्म यू रिमूव दैट नडल This suture you use after the anterior caudal part septum reconstruction, always. Initially you just fix posterior part of your spreaders, that is the good habit. Again on the longer direction you fix, cut it, <sighs> you remove this one. And again on this upper lateral cartilage, I think I put this suture on this side that is a good. Pakdo isko pakdo. Upper lateral and then the three structure. and this is the cartilage If you have a straight needle then you have the good but we don't have the straight needle otherwise it's easy 
but the entry and the exit of your needle that should be the same almost at the same plane so we fix it at least you need at least four or five sutures and after the note at least you should wait for few seconds just for proper transmission of force your or note then you have the less chance to slip your note now i fix my spreader properly i think if we have the one more that is the better whenever you make in note then you always use your wrist movement you rotate your needle never force it these are small things cut it okay so i think we need one more suture you open it rajveer i think we put this one more suture very good for fixation you usually use the pipe or pds every graft whenever you use then always you remember the indications of that graft how you make the shaping of that graft you know the ideal dimension of that graft and then how you fix cut it but it's depend how much your cartilage is available एक बार वो लगाओ थोड़ा सा इसको बेस पे फिक्स करना है आई जस्ट वॉन्ट ठीक है कोई जरूरत नहीं है सोके I just put a one suture on the base, so little bit, little bit, little bit.
छोड़ दो सो आई फिक्स इट एट द बेस सो इज नॉट लाइक ए फ्री फ्लोटिंग not now free floating <coughs> it's a symmetry is change or disturb not give me the short needle this suture little bit change the symmetry of this one na this goes because hmm hmm there uh, 11 number blade give me the 11 number blade स्मॉल वन देना इससे छोटा वाला देना इससे छोटा वाला देना पीछे इसको ही बात नहीं वो उससे ठीक हो जाएगा fix this so basically it's a type of a modified tangin groove just for a the knowledge the tangin groove basically we use when we advancement of these medial cusps on the native septum just to reduce the excess part of the infratiplobule part but sometimes when your net in native part of the septum is not enough you reconstruct that by a small piece of the cartilage just like septal extension graft and on that septal extension graft if you advancement of your medial crust that is the modified tangin groove so it's not equal remove it remove the needle so that is the modified tangin groove so when you fix the in this way the knot that should be inside not feel by the patient cut it thoda sa bada bas so it's a type of the modified tangin groove for getting exposure for getting for getting projection fix like the columella strut or 
any st then entry and exit of your needle that should be equal cut it yes so uh give me one more suture to the person number plate this is my dome creating suture just for getting the more definition little bit medial to lateral lateral to medial intradomal suture now on another side you hold it twist it and then again medial to lateral and then lateral to medial basically down creating suture we use for getting the more definition more angulation equal so is the interdomal suture that connect the both dome just to decrease the width of the tip i just check it
okay now give me the suture hmm it's okay five oh you give me the five oh i use one more suture just for proper approximation of this for primary case you can use like the dome creating suture interdomal suture columella strut or the cephalic trimming these are the basic technique by which you can modify the tip but the septal extension graft like the tongue in groove then basically for the advanced man so this is the five o that is the little bit small one so if we use like the columella strut in this case then we could not achieve a good strong foundation of the इसको पकड़ के रखो cut it yes now we have just check the symmetry of both sides of the lateral crust so so both sides of the lateral crust measurement for dena we just measure the size of the both sides of the lateral crust स्केल भी होगा ना This is around around more than ten mm. This is more than ten mm. So we just little bit excise. Fifteen number blade. हमारे पास कार्टिलेज कितनी है बताना जस्ट शो मी द कार्टिलेज व्हाट वी हैव द सॉरी दिस वन वी हैव ना सो वो बड़ी वाली देना बड़ी वाली देना mm. 
this one no? and give me the cartilage crusher sharp scissor sharp scissor pakadna isko isme rakho इसको थोड़ा सा क्रश करेंगे सो दिस इज द कार्टिलेज क्रेसर आई जस्ट लिटिल बिट जस्ट टू मेक मोर मेलिएबल दिस कार्टिलेज Now the cartilage is more malleable. You can use this your needle holder also for this purpose. So this cartilage you make more malleable like this. sometimes if you you don't have the cartilage crusher so look that the, now the cartilage is more malleable पकड़ना एंड गिव मी दैप सीजर जस्ट वी मेक द ग्रू बिटवीन दिस यू कैन यूज द लोकल ऑल्सो फॉर द हाइड्रोडेसेक्शन वी वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूज द कॉन्कविटी ऑफ दिस लेटरल क्रस सो आई क्रिएट ए पॉकेट underneath the lateral crust if i have the diffuse concavity then we flip it पकड़ो थोड़ा सा सो ओके नाउ गिव मी द गिव मी दैट पीस सो दिस इज माय क्रस्ट कार्टिलेज पीस i put it in this groove isko pakdo niche wale ko rajveer ha ah. yes very good that is is too big so we just cut it little bit or we increase 
और पॉकेट Okay, so pass the needle. Okay. So now the contours of this lateral crust it change. Suture. Give me the suture. यहाँ पे सूचर था ना? इस तो four or five हो? Five हो good. So first suture on lower side because just to prevent the displace of this graft because on upper side we already have a close pocket towards the scroll area. Cut it, remove the needle. Cut it. Yes. So if you compare on the both sides of the lateral crust, now the contour of the lateral crust is change. Uh, we have on this side we also need just make cartilage have my pass. So just I create the pocket first on this side also. सेलाइन डाल दो इसपे सेलाइन डालो पुट द सेलाइन यस सो अगेन वी जस्ट क्रिएट ए पॉकेट Because on this side it will be difficult, so I am not able to see properly on this side. I want to come on that side.
सके दस मोर इन नॉट पेनिट्रेट द स्क्रोल एरिया यू होल्ड दिस वन लिटिल बिट मोर मेन नीड लिटिल बिट मोर इसको पकड़ो नीचे से इतना नहीं हाँ थोड़ा बहुत बस यस यस थर्टी है ऑन दैट साइड नो गिव मी दैट कार्टिलेज और मोर यू हैव दिस वन ये तो बड़ी वाली है ना बड़ी वाली है अच्छा अच्छा आई थिंक दिस इज एन एफल सो गिव मी द सीजर यस वी क्रस इट पकड़ना ये पकड़ो यू ऑलवेज keep these small piece of the cartilage because they all are useful for making the diced cartilage so okay रोड को पकड़ो रेड को पकड़ो एक बार यस जस्ट मैक द एंड ऑल्सो बिकॉज द एंड अदरवाइज फील वी हैव ए वेरी थिक स्किन पेशेंट सो देन वी हैव दिस एडवांटेज दैट देन ग्राफ्ट वी नेवर यूजली फील बट इफ ए पेशेंट हैव ए थिन स्किन देन दिस इज द डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ थिन स्किन सो नाउ गिव मी द लव गिव मी दीजर I am unable to see properly on that side, so little bit. Give me the yes. Look, this is the picker little bit.
So ideally your pocket that should be adequate and enough otherwise you sometimes unnecessary struggle for your graft अब इसको डालो उसमें राजवीर अंदर डालो इसको नहीं नहीं इसको अंदर डालो पॉकेट के अंदर इसको डालो इसको इसको लो इसको पकड़ो 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 सो जस्ट एक्सटेंड लिटिल बिट पॉकेट होल्ड I just little bit extend my pocket. Now is good. Yes, give me. So whenever you any fix any graft, then mostly the problem is either the graft is big or pocket is small. So. ला सुचर दे सुचर दे ओन है सो नाउ वी सुचर इट पकड़ो इसको दिखता नहीं है मेरे को दस So my note that on upsides, so that is not filled by patient. If you put the note inside, then usually filled by the patient. Cut it. So look that how the contour of the lateral is change after this underly graft. Lateral graft flip is used for only whenever you have a diffuse grossly concave lateral crust. So this is the dome equalizing suture. So look that the crani the, the caudal part of the lateral crust comes as up upsides. Mm. Okay.
cut it. Now give me the three zero vicryl sutures for the quilting sutures. Now almost the tip work is finished. We use this modified tongue in groove spreaders underlay graft under the lateral cross. Now I use this quilting suture just to decrease the dead space. First I stabilize this structure. So both sides equal. Taking forceps. Taking forceps. Taking forceps and this one. You always count your packing, one I think on this side also, we have the only one. So the quilting suture from cartilage holding forceps. I usually not pack my notes until unless we have some septal work. Suture should start from the top to bottom, not from the bottom to top. So, all residual collections that comes down. basically deviated crooked nose first when you examine your patient then you analyze and you just make your operative step cut it So now my the line that in the center earlier we have like this, earlier we have like this, now we in the center. Six zero vicryl rapid.
स्प्रिट का वो देना जिससे हम इसको साफ कर पाए प्रॉपर लो क्लीन इट Hmm? Hmm. Now just we close, we close it, and we just put the dice cartilage. Then we. Dry gauze piece. Dry gauze piece and the suture. चेंज कर देना या क्या फिनिश हो गया जी हैं दोबारा होगा आधे घंटे बाद होगा अभी तो ठीक है फिफ्टीन नंबर प्लेट इलेवन नंबर प्लेट जो भी है देना ड्राई गोच पीस ड्राई गोच पीस मेरी हेडलाइट थोड़ी डीली है यार सुना First suture on this central Cut it Okay, silicone splint with it Lumber Then another suture on the corner. टू डबल नोट कट इट दिस साइड आल्सो इसको इतनी ली है गिर रही है थोड़े मुकेश इसको इसको टाइट करना मेरी और इसकी बैटरी भी चेंज करना भी बस सो के
चेंज द बैटरी your closing that should be very meticulous because it's the only disadvantage of the open rhinoplasty that again and again during the counseling your patient ask about the scar on the nose so your incision that should be properly your suturing that should be i usually use this 60 vicryl sutures vicryl rapid sutures not that not too much tight so i usually use the five suture for closing the transcolumella incision by the 60 vicryl rapids and this 6 60 vicryl needle holder one suture on the center of the inverted v 